السلام عليكم أه معكم زياكس جيمز زياكس جيمز تيم از ون ممبر تيم توداي ويتش از مي ام غونا بريزنت ماي جيم ويتش از بازل بلاتفورمر اتس كولد كافيتاري ذا جيم هاز بين ديفلوبد اباوت ا يير اجو اند It it has it ha, it was uh, at the second place winner at the Algerian Game uh, Challenge uh, 2030 last year. I mean, it's also nominated for YoYo Games uh, Year's Future, and uh, some people said uh, good stuff about the game. I decided to put them in the. So let's start. Who are we? Uh I'm the one guy on the team, the uh, Haq Gadwari. I uh, founded this uh, ZX Games team in 2009. I started making video games. Most of them were uh, platformers and puzzle platformers. Uh, the other two guys which subscribed with me today and which were uh, my testers are uh, Salim Slami and Mustafa Kamal. Unfortunately, they can't be here today. So, what is Kevitari? Kevitari, as I said, is a puzzle platformer about a young man which go, goes through a quest uh, which, uh, w w who fell in love with a lady and uh, this lady was a, a, king's, a king's daughter. And the king was an oppressor so, and uh, he didn't uh, accept the relation between uh, the guy and his uh, daughter. So, He killed his daughter, and he <laughs> he killed his daughter, and uh, he set the guy into a curse. The curse transformed him into a skull. So you go through a journey through this uh, quest to uh, take revenge for the daughter, and uh, to recover your humanity, to recover uh, his flesh. The game is uh, actually uh, available at the right, at the right uh, time, the game's demo, I mean, because the game is not, it's not finished yet. It's uh, available on uh, Windows, uh, Mac, and uh, Windows 8, uh, the Windows 8 application. What do you use for uh, making video games? What do I use? I use uh, Game Maker for... Uh, uh, building the game. I use uh, Photoshop, an old version, because uh, I, I'm not obliged to get a license for this. It's, it's, a, it's a licensed version which belongs to my uncle, so I just recovered it to use it. I used uh, Fast Tracker to make simple loops for the game. Uh, the game is not, is not uh, out yet, so uh, The tracks aren't, aren't the, the final tracks at the game. So we're, we are going to show you the game now. Good evening. Need the to year listen. is 1793. My name is Hector Dames. I was a handsome young guy living in peace. Until the worst thing came up. I loved the wrong lady. Nothing was really wrong about Maria except being an oppressor king's daughter. After the king knew all the secrets, he just killed his daughter and called the blood. Cursed me into a fearful, senseless skull, and brought me to imprisonment in the royal dungeon named Cavitary. Now, I need to make my escape for one reason Maria's blood. You can tap enter to skip this dialogue the next time. So, a quick question why the game is called Cavitary? Because the royal dungeon is named uh, as this. Yeah. 
As you can see, uh, the menu consists of uh, five, six elements. The first is to load a game. Here I don't have a save file, so I can't load the game. There is new game, achievements, uh, this is for credit, uh, exiting the game, and this is for the soundtracks. Let's try a new game. When you enter new game, you see that there are chapters and there are levels for each chapter. Actually, the game is supposed to have uh, five uh, chapters and in each there are uh, nine levels. So let's start. Uh, by the way, th there is uh, a hint uh, just below. Uh, it indicates the, the difficulty of the level. So this one is easy. Let's start. Use left and right to walk, up to jump and down to enter doors before time goes up. You see that there is a time counter that indicates uh, time. After finishing a level, uh, you got stars. These stars will allow you to uh, get new powers in the future. So th there are many ways to solve levels. Uh, there are optimal ways and there are the, the worst. When you uh, solve a level in an optimal way, you get more stars. In here we introduce a new mechanic, which is the gravity reversal mechanic. So, gravity shadows contacting... So, you can reverse gravity to solve levels. Oh, time goes up. So, trying again. As you can see here, you can't jump uh, this far. As ever you try, you cannot jump this. So, this will help you to uh, adapt with the gravity switching mechanics. Here I flipped. Here I entered the door. I've got two stars. If I retry, I can make a better uh, gameplay. In here, we introduce uh, a new type of obstacles. It's not enemies, but obstacles. Uh, the rocket launcher. It can blow you into bones. So you have to be uh, careful. Here. Whoa. I've got two stars. I can replay this level to get more stars. So, the uh, optimal way can be by uh, contacting less uh, uh, gravity switching uh, spots. So, I'll try to make this in, without, without switching gravity. Oh! It's hard. I did it. So I supposed to get more stars now. Yes, three stars. The next level is easy, but it it, it it not it sounds easy, but it's not that easy because you are you you can get uh, stuck here between uh, switching gravity. So all you need to do is to do this trick. Now you got it. I switched it uh, so, so many, uh, I switched it so, so much uh, times, got so many times uh, the gravity, so I got just one star. Let's get to the next level. Uh, by the way, you can get uh, new skills. Skills are uh, uh, like uh, badges of rock that gives you new abilities. For example here, you see that I can't jump this far. So, I got the horn uh, rock, which allowed me to do a double jump. The horn 
long jump is so important for uh, the next levels because you will need it for uh, to to jump uh, to far to far places. I need to be careful here. Whoa! This is a hard one. Oh. I'm about to pass this. I did it. So, for this version, I got just uh, seven levels. Uh, some other levels are added, and the, uh, they are not added to, the, to this version of the game. I mean, the concept is made. Let's come back to the menu. Uh, I said that there exist uh, achievements. Uh, some achievements are really, uh, are actually unlocked. You see here that you unlocked uh, two uh, out of 20 uh, achievements and you got uh, 18 out of uh, 180 and 20 stars. The achievements are first blood. It's, uh, it's, uh, you get this when uh, you die for the first time. Superstar. You get this when you collect 10 stars. And there are others that you will unlock by play. Let's get to the soundtracks. Here you can uh, change the uh, background soundtrack by uh, uh, passing levels, and in each chapter you will unlock a new soundtrack. So that's for the, the game. So let's get to our business plan. My business plan uh, consists to uh, put the game into a crowd fund inside. The crowd, the, uh, the crowd, crowd funding, crowd funding sites are uh, sites that help help you and give you support uh, to finish your game. Uh, the known sites are Kickstarter, uh, Indiegogo, and uh, as the guy mentioned, Desura, and there are others, but these are the most uh, famous, let's say. This is step one for our business plan. The second uh, step for the, our business plan consists, to, uh, consists of finishing the game first and then port it into other uh, platforms. We said that uh, the game exists only in three platforms, which are Windows, Mac, and Windows 8. We are planning to uh, export the game into other platforms, like mobile, uh, iOS, uh, Android, and uh, others uh, to uh, uh, HTML5 uh, and others. And uh, by making these uh, versions, we can we can buy we can buy uh, we can buy the portable uh, versions, the mobile versions uh, of the game. Business plan step three. Uh, this is an additional uh, step. Uh, we are planning to make, uh, let's say, uh, products or uh, goodies that have relation with the, with the game. This will make the game popular in uh, our commun community. Uh, let's say t-shirts, uh, cups, uh, mugs and others. Uh, so that will make the game popular. We think that uh, will, ma will make the game popular. I just want to add a last point. The why I think the, this game is uh, is going to be a successful project. It's going to be so because uh, most of the successful projects of today, let's say, uh, let's say the platform, the the games of this type. This <laughs> the the games which are successful, the, the games of this type which are successful, they consist of small levels and with, uh, let's say, clever uh, puzzles. 
uh, poses that will impress the player and uh, make him feel like he is he's about to uh, discover new stuff, new mechanics. So that's it. Merci. Thank you.